hi all this is afsha khan a lot of friends of mine and even my brother keep asking me what book should they read in their spare time uh, even i have been reviewing those books which came very recently but today in this video i'm going to do uh, to do uh, something different i'm going to review a book which came in 18th century and i simply love the author uh, this is one of my favorite books and the title of the book is a vindication of the rights of women and the author is mary wollstonecraft so let me give you a brief background to this book uh, in 1791 there was a report which was submitted to um, to the french national assembly on national education so it was basically a draft of national education of france and uh, mary wollstonecraft has written this book in in response to that report and uh, the the uh, this draft said that boys should be given all sort of education like uh, they should be taught french language and reason and rationality and women should be given only domestic uh, education and this is where she has a problem she says that when you only focus on giving domestic education to women uh, your intention is to make them successful in uh, their marriages but uh, she uh, she says that if women are taught in that particular way that they are uh, every step of the day uh, way they are telling uh, they are being taught that they have to please men and they have to be successful in their marriage uh, they won't really be successful in their marriages because you have to uh, give them uh, an education which is about developing their virtues which is about developing the mora um, morality through hearts and minds and this is how we have to educate our women and men she calls the french national education system as a faulty education system because uh, she says that boys are taught uh, only french language and in that way you're making them uh, arrogant and uh, you're making them selfish and this is why they don't become social and affectionate to their families and to the women in society and uh, uh, these men when get a sudden kind of education they they uh, don't become moral and they don't become virtuous another problem she has with the, the religion and churches she says that they indulge in childish way uh, childish routine where they uh, um, uh, where they teach individual to merely show off certain things and uh, they don't stress on the development of the minds and hearts uh, through morality and they just indulge them in certain uh, kind of routines she also ha uh, she also has a problem with uh, the biblical notion that um, uh, the eve was responsible for the original sin another broad theme of this book is uh, her critique of the male philosophers and uh, um, particularly uh, jj rousseau and dr gregory uh, who have projected women as the useless members of society and she says that uh, their accusation that women are irrational beings is completely baseless because even if they are uh, uh, even if they are irrational this is because you have taught them in uh, that way uh, you have raised them in a particular way where you did not stress upon uh, uh, developing uh, the faculties of uh, morality and virtues so uh, in her opinion these philosophers have tend to degrade one half one half of the human species and they expect women to please men at the uh, at the expense of every solid virtue of women and uh, she also criticizes the writers who have been following the paths of these male philosophers uh, and uh, they have been advising women that she, uh, that women should only be um, focusing on pleasing men and to be nice and sweet and humble and this is all uh, women are expected to to do but uh, she has a problem with all the, uh, these kind of attitudes of either uh, philosophers or uh, any ordinary person uh, in a society if you read the book you will realize how perfectly she is able to articulate her arguments and then she supports her arguments uh, and she counter argues uh, these philosophers and she has done it really well 
I highly commend you to do, read this book because you go, uh, you're going to feel how relevant this book is uh, even after two centuries. So read the book and uh, thank you for watching the video.